The second meeting of the Civil Military Coordination Council was held Tuesday. It was created for experts in the local workforce and the military to come together and identify possible issues that may arise during the buildup. Five separate working groups presented on construction, utilities, transportation, natural resources, and housing. Captain Peter Lynch, commanding officer of NAFAC Marianas, says he was thrilled with the progress of the groups. So really for the last four months or so they've been working really diligently. You can see that they're developing what their triggers would be. You know, what are the things that they've got to look forward and see in five months or in six months these three construction projects are going to create some sort of impact in this part of the island. What do we do to mitigate that? Bandy Lujan, administrator of the Guam Coastal Resource Management Program, talks about the main concerns of the group on natural resources and environment. Making sure that the terrestrial, marine, cultural, and environment are going to be able to support all of the development and that our quality of life and the, the resources that we are here to protect are going to be um, available to the future generations of Guam. 374. Some of that development already underway was discussed by Joseph de la Cruz, general engineer on the Guam buildup for NAFAC Marianas. The project already started. There's Upper Harbor um, Uniform Tango improvements. Uh, we actually had the groundbreaking for that particular project on May 6. Uh, we also have the Military Working Dogs, uh, which is another project located in Navy Base Guam. We have uh, three projects up in Anderson Air Force Base, the North Ramp Parking, Utilities, and Communication Duck Bank projects that are currently ongoing also. Dela Cruz says the workforce population for the buildup is currently at 4,686, 1,000 of those being age 2 workers, numbers that will be slower to increase than expected. The actual uh, realization of influx of H2B workers is not going to be realized for quite some time just because the construction has been spread out so much. Spread out, but in no way stopped, according to Lynch when asked about recent comments made by U.S. Senators on the cost and scope of the buildup. The senior decision makers that are in Washington are going to give us the course of direction and how we're going to move forward on this. And so for right now, um, we're executing the plan that we have in front of us. We have uh, the construction projects that were addressed earlier, and that's the way we're moving forwards. The CMCC will move forward with their next meeting in August, but Lynch adds they are flexible to meet sooner if any upcoming developments warrant it. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Lanny Walker.